Hey there, everybody. This is Ira, and we are playing Sprout. Yay! Welcome back to Series 3 of Sprout. For once, guys, for once, I have gotten some things done in between episodes. Let's take a little walk. Look up on that mini-map. Let's zoom in a little bit on the mini-map. There we go. Look at that. I got a floor plan, guys. I got a floor plan. Uh, it's totally planned out everything. You can see I've even started laying out how tall some of the things are going to be. Uh, this is going to be two levels over here. I'm going to put some student rooms over there. A few things have been moved around, so let's just do a quick little tour. So first we've got the master doorkeeper here. This is still the same. This is going to be the water strainer storage. And master wind key is right here. And there'll be some windmills and stuff like that around here. Then come back this way. I don't know why I've got the signs facing this way, by the way, guys. I don't know why I did that. Um, it's just the way I did it. So we're going to have to keep turning around anyway. Tech is going to be here. This is going to be just a storage room. And again, these storage rooms can be converted later. This is where the master hand will live. Remember, the master hand is responsible for the tech stuff, because the tech stuff is going to be like illusion. The illusion of... I don't know, the illusion of magic. There we go. Student rooms here. I'll probably have a couple of small ones in here, and then upstairs there'll be more. And then the same thing on that other side there. And then the hallway will come through here. And... Uh, some of these places are going to be higher than others, as you can see. And the roof will reflect that when I have like a nice varied roof, because we've got just a big box for buildings. So here's where the Master Summoner is going to be. And then this is another storage room. So the Master Summoner's room, then you come in here, this will be the nether room. We'll have another portal protected somehow. And then this room right here, <laughs> that is going to be the Blood Magic room, okay? because I've had requests to do blood magic. I need to set aside room for now. If I understand correctly, I've never done blood magic, guys. Never done blood magic. Please forgive me if I misunderstand anything. Put your corrections down in the comments. I will be happy for them, as always. Uh, the blood altar is going to need the center and then three blocks in each direction, if I understand correctly. So this room should be big enough for it. We'll get the nether in here. And then I'm just kind of jumping over these uh, three wide Things will be the corridors. Right here, we are going to have the fountain room. This is, or the, the yeah, the fountain is going to be a big tree. This is going to be that famous room. It's the first room that we're kind of introduced to in the Earthsea books. Just a reminder, if you didn't know, basing this build off of the Great House of Roke from the Wizard of Earthsea, from the Earthsea series. Uh, this is where the Ars Magica stuff will be, and actually I will move my altar up here soon. I went ahead and swapped out the Room of Shelves for Foundcraft Room. And we can make this look like the Room of Shells and fill it up with books and stuff, why not? This is the Master Chanter's Tower, which is mentioned in the book. And I kind of threw down some steps. This is going to have... Kind of come up to here, and this is where the floor level will be. And I'm also going to have it go out a little bit on the outside to add some variation. The outside of this building is just, just the worst. I will try to vary it eventually. Right now, it's just a box to build stuff into. This is where the Master Patterner will live. Master Patterner is responsible for Thumbcraft, and of course... I know in the books, if you're a fan, Master Padner actually lives in the Imminent Grove, which is outside. But for now, we're just going to give him a room in here. Uh, dragon stuff will be here. That's the Master Chanter's specialty. Here's the kitchen. I decided to go ahead and make the refectory, the eating room, nice and big. And then we'll just have a little side door or something for the kitchen to go out into the gardens, because that's mentioned in the books. And then, over here, we've got the Batania area. This will be here. And this will be the healing area. I don't remember what they actually call it in the books, if it's called like the the hospice or the healing room or, or the, I don't know what they call it, the school nurse. I don't know. Uh, but that'll be here. Just a little room. We'll probably make it two floors or something. Over here is where the Master Herbal, Master Herbal, Master Herbal, depending on your dialect lives, who is responsible for Batania. Over there, here's just another storage room. And I think that's it. I think that's the whole plan, pretty much. Everything laid out. Out this door, this will be the door to the gardens. And this is where the gardens will be. By the way, guys, I finally figured out. Do you remember? There's a huge crowd of animals here, right around this spot, and they were going bananas. They had to get here. I dug around underneath, and there was one, one square of water underground that I had not filled in, and I filled in this area. And they were all trying to get to that. So that's the reason. Figured it out. All sorted out. All taken care of close that now. I also killed off a lot of the animals, and I did that for a reason. It's not just because I like killing animals. I don't. I'm nice. Uh, I'm trying to get some of the birds to spawn. I did some more testing, and 
First of all, it is the exotic birds mod which is causing some frameage, some 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 frame droppage, some visual lag of sorts. Uh, and the Phoenix Lodge knows about it and is going to see if there's anything that can be done to fix that up. But for some reason, exotic birds just really, really, really makes everything run a little bit laggier when you're generating new chunks. Hopefully that will be able to be improved eventually. Thaumcraft doesn't do any harm at all. Uh, thanks to you guys, everybody who posted in the comments last time about Thaumcraft, about how to get started in Thaumcraft 6. It is different. You have to mine the essences or something like that from... You have to mine one of each of the crystals, like element crystals, whatever they're called. And um, and then you have to sleep and you, it teaches you how to continue. And I will probably do that eventually. Thaumcraft was never my favorite my favorite mod. I mean, I think the advanced stuff in Thaumcraft is cool. But the way you have to start it with the scanning and the research, it just drove me up the wall and I hated it. And so I never got past it. So I, I'll give it a try eventually in this series. Promise. Promise, promise. Okay, I shouldn't promise things, because we never know what the future will hold, but I certainly intend to do it eventually, but not today. Today I am finally going to start what you guys asked me to start before, which is blood magic. And I have a handy little guide. Somebody linked a nice written guide, which is very useful. And we can do that. So the first thing we need to do is find a hunter, or actually the first first thing we need to do is find some money. Because... You have to buy the snares, if I can... I'm typing around my microphone here, so... Snare. Rudimentary snare purchased from Hunter, you see. This is part of the survival mode, or survival scavenger mode, of this pack. Um, which is that... You can't make them. No recipe for them, I have to buy them from Hunter. Fortunately, I have found a Hunter, or a Hunter's little hut, over there. A little ways away, probably take a little nap first, and then we can take a walk. Problem is, I don't have any money. I think I have a little bit of money somewhere, actually. Let me look around through all my storage. I swear I remember getting money from somewhere. But I don't remember where. I certainly don't remember where I put it, because that would just be ridiculous. Here we go. I've got 44 iron coins. I don't know if that's going to be anywhere near enough. I'm not sure if there's much I can do to earn any more money right now. Um, I do need to go to Slayer's Guild. Because I have completed the quest uh, for the armorer. So actually, I will need to go to a village first. And in the village, get my... Actually, no, wait, I've got a mailbox. I always forget this. You start with the mailbox. I'll stick the mailbox up here, right by the door to the school. Right over here. Let's see if I have a letter, or I don't know if I have to wait to get the letter. Oh no, here it is. Invitation to the Slayer's Guild. Read that. Um... Well, give me all these presents in my letter. And yeah, so they're they're inviting me now to join the Slayer's Guild. Also, I think these are heart fragments. Hold right click. No? Holding right click. Isn't that what it said? Hold right click to unwrap. Holding. Still holding. Is this not working? That one worked. Uh, did it? There we go. Got one open. That was odd. Kind of bugged out there. Alright, maybe I need to be looking up higher. So, I don't know if I have enough money just yet to actually buy any more hearts, but I have enough crystals now, so that's something to keep in mind. I'll throw these in my backpack. And I should be able to join the Slayer's Guild now, which should mean I have access to the initial shop where I can sell my dragon goods, my dragon things, my dragon parts. And uh, again, I didn't kill any dragons for these parts. These were found on dead dragons that were in the desert area. They were just, just sitting there. Still moving around a bit, which is a little freaky, but they are actually dead, so perfectly safe. And, oh goodness, I, I say this every single time. I always forget I don't have any speed totems yet. Need to do some more exploring. Um, I have not retrogened the Thaumcraft materials into this save file yet. I, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it a try with a, a backup save. Um, if that works, then I'll be able to mine for the Thaumcraft stuff. But if not, I'll have to go to New Chunks to, uh, to get those things. And going to New Chunks is real slow. 
because of that exotic birds mod. I'm, I'm semi tempted to disable the mod, f like at least temporarily, and then I could turn it back on later, just because it's gonna cause so much lag. Ba -ding! It's gonna cause so much lag while I'm exploring. And I don't like that. Oof, I'm actually, I'm even getting like, it's getting real framey now. Again, I don't know if that's being picked up by OBS. I'm hoping that it's not. Because OBS is set to the highest priority. Hello? What do you think? Who do you think you are waltzing in here like that? Let us be. Oh, right. That's right. I have to talk to the... Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to sell stuff yet. I'm not going to be able to sell stuff yet because I have to kill a Selkie and a Networker first. Oh, this again. The worst part is I don't know how far I'm going to have to go to find a Selkie. I know that it has to be at least 1,500 blocks from spawn, which is pretty far already. And um, issue with that is that... If you forget, I have changed the um, the difficulty for the Scaling Health mod to be based only on distance and not time, so I can spend as much time as I want at spawn and it's not going to get any worse. However, I've doubled the difficulty over distance to make up for that. So, okay, Ant Worker and a Selkie, yep. So I can't sell this stuff yet. Dang, I was really hoping to get a little extra cash. guess I can't. It won't let me do that. I suppose I should do some grab bags up here, right? There might actually be better stuff than I have. Oh, these are all leather. I think I have better than leather now. These are leather. These are leather. These are leather. Oh, okay, the helmet's better than leather, so the others are not, actually. What have I got? Helmet, helmet, helmet. And a rare leather tunic, but the one I have is actually much better than that. All right. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll even just, like those back. There you go. There you go. What's your name again? Kingle. Guildmaster Kingle. What a name. I don't know if that's a reference to something or if it's just a funny name that the Phoenix Lodge came up with or one of his team. But it's fun. Oof. Step assist can be a pain in the butt. I really... Uh, this is bolts. Oh, and there's these weapons here. They're, they're always the same and I don't think any of them are worth having. By the way, my sword leveled up, and I put, um, I put Ethereal on it. That's the one that steals health. So whenever I hit things with my sword now, I will get some health back, which is handy. Alright, we'll go to the Hunter, and see if, we'll see how expensive those snares are. I think I need quite a few of them. Because according to the guy, what I have to do is, oh, there it is. Um, I have to throw them at enemies, and then when they start sparkling, I have to kill the enemies quickly before time runs out, however long that is. And it has to be hostile enemies, doesn't work on passive mobs, unfortunately. And I think it takes several of them per mob, so I'm probably going to need quite a few of them. I'll see how many I can get. I guess I need... What is it called? Demonic Will is what I will get from that. So here's hoping that I get lucky and get enough of that Demonic Will from just a few of the snares. So it seems like that's going to be... Uh... Well, I'm going to have to grind for, for coins, basically, if I, if I can't get enough. I don't remember how expensive they are, and I don't know if the price is still the same as it was in the last version. Anyway, again, if you're just watching this as your first video with me, I am uh, helping the Phoenix Lodge and his team to test the upcoming new version of Sprout, which will be released when it's ready. I don't think there's a date set or anything, but it seems like it's coming along. I don't think it will be too long. That's me, pure speculation on my part. Please do not be upset if I'm wrong about that and it takes ages. But the impression that I get is that it won't be too, too long. And then there'll be an entirely new version. Uh, coming out for 1.12, which Phoenix Lodge is starting to work on now, which will be... Which will be very cool. I'm looking forward to that. I'm excited about it. I have to make sure that I somehow manage to finish what I need to do on this version. Either that or I need to find a way to import my uh, Great House of Roke build to another world in another version of Minecraft, and I don't know if it's possible. It might be. 
might be able to use MC Editor, some of those types of tools. World Edit, I, I don't even know. I've never used any of those tools. I know those are tools that are used by people. But I think it might be possible to use something like that to kind of save the build and then rebuild it somewhere. But I don't know how well it would work going between versions of Minecraft and between mod packs. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. How are we doing? Getting close. Again, really, really, really wish I had some speed upgrades. But, uh, yeah. For finding the Selkie, the only bit of snow I've found is right here. And this is too close to spawn, so Selkie will not spawn there. So I might have to go down this way. Or I might have to take a boat and go north and see what I can find up there. Usually I get tons and tons and tons of snow biomes. By the way, I've seen people... People are always asking, how do you find a Selkie? Where do I find a Selkie? If you look in the wiki for the Grimoire of Gaia, it says that they're only found on... Is it ice plains or something like that? There's just one biome listed, but guys, it's not the only biome where they spawn. They'll spawn on most snowy biomes. I promise you, I know because I have found them there. Many times, repeatedly. Whether I wanted to or not, and I usually didn't. They're a pain. They'll kill you dead real fast if you're not careful. I have always had to cheese them to beat them. I don't know. I don't know about how I feel about the Selkie being the thing that you need just to get started in the main quest line. Because you can't even join the Slayer's Guild, which you need to do before you can get commissions for killing dragons. You need to do before you can access their shops. Uh, you have to kill a Selkie first, and a Selkie is a very difficult enemy, even, you know, by default. And then, uh-oh, there's these little, um, I think they're called cannibals. It's, it's kind of a super racist thing that has been put into, uh, not put into the pack, it's put into one of the mods. I don't know which mod that's from, but I kind of find that pretty super offensive, to be honest. But they'll, they're dangerous, they'll kill you if they can. Alright, let's just go up here. Getting close, almost there. I think this desert is far enough away, by the way, that I should be able to kill an ant worker here. I think those should spawn just fine. Oh, something's on fire over there. Look at that. Yeesh. Might be a dragon. I'm not getting involved. <laughs> not going to involve myself with the locals. Okay, here we go. Here's my hunter, finally. Right next to yet another monastery. I've got three monasteries. Now, is the actual hunter here is the question because this is just the shack. This is not the NPC. I need to find the NPC. I'm pretty sure these NPCs, even if they get killed by something, they will respawn. But I don't know where it would be. Probably off hunting, presumably. Oh, it's uh, getting dark. Oh, and these guys are coming. Hello. Um... So they're listed as passive mobs on the map. They have gray dots. But they are not passive. They will kill you if you get too close. What's this? Bones. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's these guys. I don't have uh, any zoom here. Bar Baracoa? Baracoa, apparently. And they swarm you. Oh, and I'm having a huge frame drop right now. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, it's possible that they killed the hunter. And again, I'm pretty sure that the hunter should respawn. And there's more of them over there. Oh, dang, they sure are spawning like crazy, aren't they? Um, well, this is an issue. And there's, oh my goodness, they're swarming the whole place. I really don't want to have to fight those guys. It seems reasonably likely that they have killed the hunter or that the hunter is off fighting them. Which is an issue. Uh, this is the only hunter shack that I found so far. You can see I always bookmark things like that when I find them. No others here now. Did they just despawn? In one big group? I think they did. What's that up there? Light mage. Oh yeah, I'm seeing more and more of these light mages popping up around the map. And they have upgraded. Their chat text, at first they said, do I know you? And now they say I have to become more powerful before they'll follow me. So I guess I'm moving on up. However, it's 
Still don't know where my hunter went. That's the problem. Does anyone have any tips on how to find the hunter? Or am I better off just maybe... Um, exploring and trying to find a new hunter. What's that? Magpie. Oh, the birds! We've got our first bird! It's a magpie! Oh, and what have you got there? I need seeds. I had seeds and I threw them away. What did I do that for? Come on, Ira. Think about these things. There's magpies around. It's got some kind of book in its mouth. I think. You can usually persuade magpies to give things up by offering them seeds. They'll... Oh, there's my hunter. Cool. Okay, you stay right there, friend. I have a magpie to attend to, and then we have business to do. There we go. Seats. Magpie. I love magpies, guys. There's uh, tons of magpies where I live. Oop. Where'd it go? There you go. Do I just throw the seats? No? Not gonna pick those up? Can I sneak over? I take my shield off, because that always interferes with stuff. It's running away! No, come back! You've got something, and I want it. And I'm not sure how to get it from you. Oh, it's flying away. I creep over there. This skin's still flying away, guys. Oh, it's going further and further. No, don't go away. Come back. Come here. I want... I want to I wanna propose a trade. <laughs> Please. Oh. Okay. Here. Take the seats. Take the seats. Drop, drop the book, take the seats. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to succeed with this guy. If anyone knows how to do this. Or maybe I'll look it up later. See if I can get another seat. Leave those ones on the ground. Maybe I'll come back for them. If I move away, will you, move, will you go and grab it? Am I too close? Am I invading your space? I need to give you your bubble. It seems to be keeping a pretty stable distance from me. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm standing still for a little while. Come on. Get the seeds. It's not. Alright, well, I know where it is. So hopefully later, we'll be able to get that book out of its mouth. I don't know if it's anything useful, but... Okay, uh, Hunter was here. Hello, this is a very convenient place for you to be. Um, would you come on for my colony? Oh, cool, I got one of those. I, s I still haven't actually tested those out. I need to do that soon. Shop. Let's see... Rudimentary snare is 32 bronze coins. I only have iron coins, which are worth more, but you can't do it that way. So I have to go into town and see if there's a banker here and exchange these for bronze coins. However, um, I think I have enough money to get quite a few of those, which is good news. Very good news, my friends. What do we got here? So that's the recruiting office right there. I think that looks like a bank. Yeah, this is the bank, I believe. Unless it's the library. Might be the library. No, it's the bank. Cool. Hopefully there are bankers inside. There are not. Well, you guys know what we have to do. We have to cheat. It's not cheating, it's bug fixing. Give me my axe, come on. I'm telling you guys, the search, the creative search, is ugh, all kinds of borked. I don't know if there's just too many mods, or what. No, 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 no. I feel like I gotta grab it. No! I gotta grab it quick. Clone. I don't know why it does that. Come on. Marble clone. There we go. Phew. Got it. We need a banker. Banker. And then there was... There's two of them. There's the banker, and then there's... 
Mm, teller. There we go. Get rid of that. Game mode is for survival. I don't know which one of you guys is which now. Access the bank. Yeah, no, okay. This is the storage. The teller is the one. Give me... Yes, here we go. So actually, I can buy plenty of those snares. Iron coins, super valuable. I think that should be enough. And I'll also get contracts for you guys, why not? Bank branch opening permit. Why do I have four of these? That's interesting. I am not sure. At some point, I need to, uh... I need to try out those... Recruitment things. See how that works. Alright, we can go back over to where the hunter is now. He's over in his little cage. Right over here. And... Get some snares. Get a whole bunch of snares. Hopefully it's enough. I have no idea if this is enough, guys. Honestly, I have no idea. Okay, climbing ropes, spare trap. Let me just... Yeah, I can sell... Ooh, actually, I've got some fur at home. You gotta remember that. And... Looks like I can get a whole bunch of these, yeah. That's gotta be enough, right? Oh! Did you just kill someone right in front of my face? While I was buying things from you. Prime Chevon. Chevon? Chevon? Ugh. No, 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 no. These guys. These guys again. I wanted to go and give another try to that mag magpie. But I don't want to deal with these guys. It's because they're jerks. Is a magpie down here? Look at him. Oh, they're hunting the animals. Okay. Is my magpie still here? Is that it? I don't have any more seeds. These ones down here are probably despawned, huh? Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm running out of time for this episode already. Alright, well, in that case... Um, there we go, seats. I thought I saw it up here. I feel, like, I feel like if I sneak, I'm more likely to get it. Maybe I'm wrong. Wait, is that it? That's it, that's the magpie. That's the magpie. Come here. Oh, it's not, it doesn't have anything in its mouth. Is it a different magpie? Or did it already? Hi there. Hi there, little friend. Do you want to come home with me? <gasps> it loves me. Guys, I have a friend. Oh, this, this is this is an optimal outcome for this episode, you guys. Forget about blood magic. I just made friends with a magpie. And... There's the racist ideas again. Okay. Um, I want to know where that other magpie went. Do I... Is it, like, on my shoulder or something? No, it's not. Is it following me? You coming with me, magpie? I don't know. Alright, well. Next episode, guys, I'll take the next step in blood magic. We'll take these snares. We'll go to, um... Magpie's not coming with me. <laughs> I'm sad now. Uh, we'll take the snares. We'll go to some bad guys. We'll kill them. And hopefully get some of this demonic will, and then can start building the first the first steps. So that's exciting. Finally, actual progress. Well, at least the very first step of actual progress. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys very, very much for watching, and as always, thank you very much for your comments and your support and your advice and your tips and all of that. You guys are the best, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!